like I said, we're really in the thick of this playoff race, or actually the division race. And I think this one will, you know, really do us some good things as far as trying to get to the top spot. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be a bloodbath. I mean, I think this team are so similar when it comes to, you know, trying to be disciplined, trying to be well coached and playing extremely hard. So I think when you get those type of teams that match up together, it's going to be a close game. It's going to be a few plays here and there that's actually going to win this game. So I think, you know, us being a team that we are, we have to come in with great details and uh, making sure that we're really keen on those things. Because like I said, it's only going to be a couple plays that you're going to look at when the game is over. It's like, OK, this is the reason why we won. This is why we lost. You can rattle off the numbers going back years of how they in the series, so to speak, but obviously teams change, but they, they've denied you in some pretty big moments. Week 17 last year, here's another one. Do you guys have to prove, I don't know, maybe even to yourselves that you can get past that hurdle? Yeah, I mean, we don't have to prove anything to anybody else. We definitely have to prove to ourselves that, like you said, we can be a team that can win this division. And I think it starts with going through the Indianapolis Colts because we haven't had much success against these guys lately. So, like I said, I mean, I mean, but beyond all that, it's still, it's still a football game. We have to go out there and win a football game against a team that wants to do what we want to do, which is run the ball. And uh, I think if we can stop the run and eliminate the deep ball with number 13, uh, T.Y. Hill, and he's a great receiver, I think we'll have great success against this team. Other than it being the Colts, is there anything more difficult about playing in that stadium? Uh, I mean, not really. Uh, I think it's pretty loud. I mean, I think most teams that play in the Dome uh, is going to be loud. and their fans are going to come out and show a lot of support. Um, I mean, but other than that, I think it's just going out there trying to try to beat the Colts. When you look at their offense, obviously, Ebron's out now. Max probably not going to play this weekend. Do they look the same as they did in week two, or, or what's changed for them? I don't think much has changed because, like I said, I think they're still going to try to run the football. So, I mean, they had a back last week, had over 100 rushing yards, uh, Williams. So, I think they're going to try to come out and run the ball. I mean, I know T.Y. Hill's a little banged up, but I expect to have his best out there on Sunday. And they're trying to get him the rock as well. So I don't think much is going to change. I think uh, Brissette is going to try to manage the game, making sure that he's, he's making plays when he can, but at the same time, just not, you know, turn the ball over and those things. So and I think one thing that we can talk about from last week is that we had plenty of opportunities to get sacks on this guy. And he broke a lot of tackles. So I think if we can you know, really work on that in practice this week, making sure that we're wrapping him up so we can actually get him down this time. Does Brissett take as many shots as they did before in the offense down to? Uh, it's not a lot. I wouldn't say it's a lot of shots. Like I said, I think it's more trying to run the ball and him not really, you know, doing anything that's going to hurt his team. And uh, I mean, that's I think that's a well-coached team. Like you said, uh, it, it's not really about, especially when you got a guy like T.Y. Hill who's been out for a few weeks. They haven't been taking a lot of shots. He's been making sure, because they play great defense. So if you're playing good defense as a quarterback, you have to understand that, hey, we're going to play good defense and we're going to run the ball. Let's control the clock and let's win in the fourth quarter.